and welcome back to my channel. Um, this is Tyler, my boyfriend, and we were just going to talk about like our experience in Gatlinburg. How was it for you? Honestly, it was a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Mm -hmm. um, How so? I mean, I really, going into it, I didn't really think that we had a lot to do and there wasn't really much to do, but obviously you surprised me with a bunch of uh, fun and terrifying experiences. Before I say this, <sighs> I'm a planner, so I love to plan like vacations out like every single bit. I don't want to have like a point where we're just like laying around like, oh, what are we gonna do next? Like I want those gaps to be filled, so I just book this like trip solid full of things that I mean Tyler wouldn't normally do if he knew about. So I mean it was definitely it was definitely. A surprise on his part. Um, what did we do? That was surprising. Well, first off, um, we showed up at this place, and uh, she goes, "Yeah, we're going up there on that hill, and it's uh, it's called Anna It was like an outdoor amusement park. We went on a ski lift, it was and terrifying. Tyler's like so afraid of heights. It was not fun. So I mean, I was I was getting a kick out of it. I was laughing the entire way. We Facetimed like both of his parents, and. I was just like trying to hug up on him. He was like, "Don't touch me." My hands were <laughs> dripping sweat. Like it was bad, and, and then I kept stopping. Yeah, and, and I was like, "Tyler, look at the down the ground. Look down on the ground." Then he was like, "Shut up." It was bad. It was it was terrifying. I really want to go back because watch I, the sunset the sunset and also mm -hmm. they have like this firefly exhibit where i guess there's just fireflies everywhere yeah and that would just be i think it'd be like one one night to remember kind of remind me of um when i heard about it, it reminds me of uh that one scene of lion king at night when there's uh yeah yeah but um anyway yeah, it was a lot of fun um we had uh some nice beers up there um, we tasted the moonshine it was good um put us on our butts we uh got yeah. one of the best pretzels that we've ever had okay good um along with the view yes that like overlooked the entire like city Ooh, we did a mountain coaster up there yeah we did the mountain coaster i filmed that so you guys one could be seeing it yeah one of them i filmed and then we walked in the treetops of yeah, uh, these got that huge too. trees. We saw a bunch of animals. Animals? Yeah, and like little bears and little bear cubs and and um, what is it called? The um, groundhog. A groundhog. I got to feed a groundhog, guys. It was it was so cute. It looked like a groundhog.
that is 1,700 feet up. Like, very far up. How was it? She picked up a snake. I was nice. <laughs> The what? snake in the creek. Yes, you did. Oh, it's a creek. She's by the way, it's a creek. It's a creek. It's a creek. It's a creek. And um, yes, it was She's dead. It was a stick. She's so. Definitely a yuppie. It's a creek. He doesn't even know what a yuppie, yuppie is. He's like a city boy, one hundred percent. Um. Anyways, actually, like the best part, and this is gonna sound like such a touristy like trap, and it is. But for me, like the most, my most favorite part was the replace, believe it or not, because I got to be like a kid again. I, there's like all of these challenges and everything, and it was just really fun. And Tyler got the shit scared out of him when he like put his hand in this like unknown hole and like a like little air puff just came out well, of him. The first he cussed in front of children, so that was nice. In my defense, the first floor were all, what do you feel? And it was like you felt, uh, you felt the fur of a back of a squirrel or something, and then like, oh, it's a, uh, um, it's like the leather, and then the next one was nice. So I expected it was something normal again. I put my hand in there, and a big, pressurized puff yeah. of air just, and I jumped so hard, and I definitely cursed. And then um, after we got out of that, um, there's like this overlook. So I went, I stood over it, I'm looking, and all of a sudden, <laughs> the ground just totally shook. I forgot about that. And because it, it was like unbalanced and they yeah. tried to scare you, and that definitely got me. Um, but we actually, it was fun. It um, was fun. There's a lot of good hiking trails too, like a lot. We didn't even go to like, we only went to one. I wanted to do so much more, like nature outdoor stuff, but I was just so like. I don't know. I was just so infatuated with like the city and stuff, and I just didn't want to leave like the downtown area. And the food was amazing. Crockets. Crockets by far. It will was literally amazing. transport you back into time. So, crockets. It was phenomenal. If you want to be like trans, oh hi, Puffleuppas. They can't see you. They can't see you. But um, crockets was yeah. If you want to be transported back in time like that old. I don't know if you guys have ever been at Agarama, but I remember it. I don't know if you went. But, like, if you want to be transported back into, like, I don't know, like the 1900s or something like that, and everything's, like, an old feel, and you have, like, the barn and the stables and, like, trading your goods and stuff, like, good times. Good. And, um, <laughs> yeah. And everything, like, a lot of stuff is served in, um, and skillets, yeah. like iron skillets. Yeah, so that's what my cast iron meant. skillets. And I mean, she he had a huge pancake. Like it, it was, was like a biscuit thick. almost. It was thick. It was crazy. And also, my meal was really good, even though I didn't get the biscuit pancake. I forgot I searched channel on it, so I can't speak. No. Anyway, um, the menus were pretty cool. There were newspapers, and the front of them were. Uh, it was like a whole story about like the original Crockett and all that, and um, the founder. And then you open it up, and it's the menu. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that was definitely a really fun experience. Uh, we actually went there twice, and if you ever go, um, Google it first, and you can put on yourself on a wait list, because it's definitely oh, over yeah. an hour wait, no matter what time you go. Mm -hmm. So um, definitely do that.
ca the cabin that we were at. Oh my oh, goodness, it was oh phenomenal. So this cabin, okay, so we were supposed to go with my parents. So it was supposed to be like four people. And um, they couldn't go last minute. So, I mean, we still went, hey, free vacation. And, uh, <laughs> but it was like this huge cabin with like three bedrooms and like, there's a living area. There was the, the downstairs was like a game room Huge area. Man cave. There, was, yeah, it was awesome. It had a, a, jacuzzi, table, a jacuzzi, a pool table, air hockey like thing. Um, a huge back porch, double yeah. deck, uh, overlooking the Smoky Mountains. Mm -hmm. It was beautiful. It was, beautiful. It was really cool. breathtaking. Like you could sit in this jacuzzi and just like relax, and just like while wow, you hear like little crickets outside, I, hear some rustling. Wonder if it's a bear or a squirrel. Definitely, I felt one with the nature one of the uh, evenings I went there, and I was sitting um, on top of the railing with my legs swinging over it and overlooking <laughs> it. That was pretty scary. Um, but uh, the first night, I'm not gonna lie, it was pretty creepy. It felt like it was haunted for the first night, but we won't get into it. It, it was. Um, it was a little weird. But there were bears like right on our yeah. driveway and um, we saw so many bears just on our street. And I really wanted to do, next time we go, I want to go to like Dolly World or like one of the big amusement parks or something like that, theme parks. So it's actually Dolly World and this other like world or theme park. Um, they're like top 15 like theme parks in the world. So that's pretty crazy to think that they're like four hours away from us. Um, so, I want to go back for fishing, and I also want yeah, to go back again in the fall. Fishing. It's going to be so beautiful in the fall when all the leaves change, and, they start and a fall fire day. outside. Mm -hmm. That'd be amazing. Definitely going to play, and it'll be like, the perfect feeling for fall, and like around Halloween and stuff, but I'm sure they like go out. Oh yeah, the shops. The shops are to die for. Um, they're so cute, and like eclectic and everything. We went to this place called the Donut Fryer. And at first we were like, well, these aren't like as good as Krispy Kreme because we like love mainstream stream stuff and we don't really like, I don't know, go out of our comfort zone much. But like, once I started having them more, I was like, oh, like you're probably not gonna find this anywhere else because it's like so unique and like buttery and flaky and stuff. Like a lot of donuts where you find like mom and pop shops, they're like, can tell them on like they just yeah and they're like flaky and stuff but they're kind of dry but this one is so buttery and like just the right amount of glaze not too much not too little it was like really nice glaze. Come on. you can um but there's like a fountain right outside of it too so you can just like sit down and enjoy like the little fountain and like this little like common area of all the shops that come together and walk around if you wanted to and Also, we went to the zoo in, here in Nashville. Um, it was cool. It wasn't as big as I thought it was going to be, but they had like a lot of things. I actually got to pay, pet, the, the like highlight of it was I got to pet a kangaroo for the first time. The highlight of for her was seeing an alligator, even though we're from Florida. No, I'm She kidding. wanted to spend like 15 minutes staring at an alligator. In no, an but exhibit. for real, I got to pet fucking kangaroo. Like, you think you could only do that in Australia? Well, you can't. If you come to Nashville, to the Nashville Zoo, and the, the kangaroos will let you pet you. Yeah. So. Monkeys were so loud. Oh my god, they're they, like we, swinging we everywhere. It wasn't even like they were caged. We were it's, parking the car, crazy. and it, we were like, is that real or fake? And we we're like, that's definitely fake. Like, it's yeah. too often and too consistent and mm -hmm. too loud and just fake. We went in and, nope, there's just monkeys just free swinging away throughout the zoo, and yep, they were pretty loud. Yeah. Um, but that was a really fun experience. We went with my, uh, with my work. Mm -hmm. So that was a really fun experience. Got to meet some people I work with. And, yeah. Um, it was definitely a really fun time. Yeah. And we what had a uh, beef like brisket saw. there. Um, yeah. What'd you get again? You got the on or something? Um, I got some sandwich. Some chicken sandwich. She saw the meerkats. Um, yeah, I saw the meerkats. But there's something else that I was thinking of. Oh, no, she that, <laughs> she oh, I got to see these baby little like cloud leopards or something like that. That was really cool. Tyler didn't get to see him because he was watching, I don't 
know, some show or something like that. But I like wandered off. Oh yeah. But I got to see these I, little baby like I was watching a live uh, like, leopard things and they were really live. Cool. Show thing and animal. they were just like cats. They went up on the window seal and they played together and, and stuff. You can watch every day they do surgeries on animals there, and they let you like you can watch them like an open like ER or OR through the uh, glass. And if they have emergency surgeries, um, they'll do it too. Like they don't ever close the blind blinds or anything, and they like literally t they tell you um, like view with your own discretion. Um, yeah. But like you can literally see like uh, there was like a giraffe or something getting am a toe amputated. And, um, yeah. There's all that going on. You don't see that often. No. Um, Not live, anyways. We also. We saw like that tiger really close up. So that was kind of cool. Yeah, but. Uh, I don't know. Goat hated me. That's it. Yes. <laughs> she literally went up to this goat and was like trying to pet it and like wasn't in the mood. And then I was like, get a picture with it. And she literally got he a picture with it. He put me into the situation where he knew the outcome. Already. And the goat literally got up and left. Like, he was so upset with her. And it did not want any parts of her whatsoever. It went all the way to the other side of the cage, not to be near her. Like, not even scared. Just it didn't want to put up with her crap. I guess and, I to pet you. Uh, then some little kids came up and started they petting the same it. Thing. And they it's were all, fine. Yep, they were all fine. And, um, yeah. I got my heart broken. And every animal we saw it reminds me of Viper. Everything reminds me of Viper. Especially the little warhawks. Because the Viper runs, he runs sideways. He's like. Especially when he's running down the hill. Yeah. back and at it uh, but for now thank you for watching my vlog thanks guys Mwah.